Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2024 MLW Draft, presented by Voot Grips. Please welcome the MLW Commissioner, Kyle Schultz. Oh, Crash owns you, Schultz. Expansion is the man, expansion. Wipe that smirk off your face and do your job, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the 2024 MLW Draft. We are now in year five of making wiffle ball dreams come true via this draft. And as always, this is an open style draft where available players from all across the country are considered by our managers, especially ones that performed well at the MLW public tournaments. And one new quirk this year, uh, if any team is content with the team they already have, they are not required to select anybody new onto their team. So please keep that in mind. But without further ado, after last year's draft trade between the Magic and Wildcats, myself and the Wildcats are on the clock with the number one pick. With the number one pick in the 2024 MLW Draft, the Western Wildcats select Patrick Ballman, pitcher and WA Wiffle Ball. All the way from St. Louis, Missouri, the Wildcats found our guy. Patrick Ballman is one of the most talented and dedicated wiffle ball players on the backyard scene right now, and he's got all the tools of a number one pick. Towering at 6'5", his high release point in 12'6 go-to drop ball proved to be deadly against hitters in addition to some slide drop and knuckleball junk, and he is no scrub at the plate either. This kid hits absolute bombs and adds immediate depth to the Wildcats lineup, one that already bolsters three all-stars. And if I had to give him a player comp, it would be RJ Walgate, but I think Patrick has the chance to be a little bit more dual threat long term. In 2023, Ballman performed well at MLW's Wiffle in the Mitten Tournament, Long Island Whiffs Tournament, NWA Tournament, and even attended the MLW St. Louis Series. So he really proved to us that he wanted to take his Wiffle Ball career to the next level, and us at the Western Wildcats are just simply thrilled to have him on board. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Patrick? How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I just want to let you know, with the number one overall selection, my Wildcats have selected you, bro. Dude, no way, dude. I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. Can't wait to have you on the squad. Love what you bring to the table, and go Cats, baby. Absolutely. Let's win this thing. We've got some interesting things brewing here at the number two pick. I am thrilled to announce a three-team blockbuster trade between the following teams. The Coastal Cobras, the Midwest Mallards, and the Great Lakes Gators. So let's put it up on the screen right now and go one by one what each team is receiving, starting with the Coastal Cobras. They will be receiving Caden Irwin from the Mallards, and then also the number six pick here in the 2024 draft. The Midwest Mallards are receiving Brendan Jorgensen, of course, the Great Lakes Skaters four-year player. And onto the Great Lakes Skaters, they will be receiving this number two pick in the 2024 MLW Draft. So a lot to unpack here, but let's get right back into it with the new Great Lakes Skaters manager, Chris Cheatham, who will be making this selection. With the second pick in the 2024 MLW Draft, the Great Lakes Gators select Jeremy Adams, pitcher VWL Flamingos. Another out-of-state guy off the board at number two, and it's a good one. Jeremy Adams from Verona, Wisconsin is the ace on quite possibly the greatest U-17 team in the history of MLW's public tournament circuit, that being, of course, the VWL Flamingos. In his young wiffle ball career, he's already played in seven MLW tournaments where he's accumulated 25 total team wins in three titles. This also includes two invites to MLW's national tournament. And for the first time in 2023, Adams became a national champion. In terms of his gameplay, he can make the ball move in all four directions out there, but his accuracy is his best component in my mind. I've seen him a lot since 2021, and I always see him finding the zone. Offensively, he's a true threat as well. Several home runs on the national stage also has to be music to Gators fans' ears. And however Chris Cheatham plans to use him, I know he has a great shot to be successful. This kid's resume is just loaded, especially for his age, and I know he's ready to continue that history of winning on a team that could really use some of that right now. 
just wanted to let you know that the uh, Great Lakes Gators actually made a crazy trade. We traded up to the number two pick, uh, and we decided to draft you with that pick, man. So congratulations, and uh, really looking forward to having you on the team and trying to win some games this year, man. Let's go on, right? <laughs>
He's a fiery kid that is going to feed off the personality of guys like Warda, Cratch, and Ramirez. It might just be the missing piece to push him over that ALCS hump. Hey, Levi, how's it going, man? Nothing. What's up, Alec? Uh, nothing much. Just chilling. Um, so, yeah, I know you, me, and Cratch have been talking a lot these past few months, and I'm just here to let you know that you've been drafted to the Pacific Predators in the 2024 MLW Draft. Man, that's awesome. I just want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the one who got me here, and I know he's got a plan for me, and on that plan is a Preds World Series. Hello there. With the sixth pick in the MLW Draft, the Coastal Cobras select Justin Ash, outfielder, mid-Michigan College. I think this pick is high risk, high reward here for the Cobras. We know Drew Davis loves his baseball players. You think of guys in the past like Zach Hopman, Mitch Marvin, Jack Krause, and he's once again going in that direction with Justin Esch. An outfielder from mid-Michigan College, he's surely the top baseball player off the board. Something in MLW that's been kind of hit or miss in recent years, but he's one that's also been a huge MLW fan for years as well. And due to his busy baseball schedule, he's only made it out to one MLW tournament in the past, the 2021 Wiffle in the Mitten. But he made a memorable impression there with four home runs in the event, one of those coming off of now teammate Brendan Baranowski. Word is that Esch will be more available than ever to play this summer and could be a secret weapon for the Cobras, a team that has made a bunch of moves this offseason. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home, Justin. Too, baby. You're part of the Coastal Cobras organization. Let's go. The historic, Girl. the one and only. <laughs> How do you feel? Speak to the camera. Oh, Long time coming. At the seventh pick, the Eastern Eagles have decided to decline our selection. Ready to run it back this year again with the same squad. Love our team chemistry. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. At the 8th pick in the 2024 MLW Draft, the Metro Magic will also be declining to select. Looking forward to defending our title with the same six boys on the squad. Wands up. So that will do it for the 2024 MLW Draft. But as we commonly do, we have one undrafted free agent signing. This is coming from the Great Lakes Skaters. They have picked up Aiden Richard, a utility player from Bay City Wiffle Ball another athletic all-around guy that actually won the most clutch award in that league this past year so he has a knack for the home run ball and this selection really reminds me of the AJ Ackerman pickup last year from the Magic another UDFA guy that could definitely make a difference in the league so shout out to Aiden as well as these six other guys making their way into the league this year super excited for you guys to make your mark in MLW and if you're wondering still how you can be drafted into MLW in the future, uh, I alluded to it in the intro, but the number one way is through the MLW public tournaments. I will put some information on the screen right now about the next three tournaments, um, but it's, the, it's truly the best way for you to meet the guys, um, show your personality, and play some wiffle ball. It's a great balance of competitiveness and fun, which is the number one thing I love about these tournaments. Uh, last thing, I know a lot of you guys have been pushing for us to expand MLW, and I myself want that to be something that happens in the future as well. We're not currently at the point to where we can comfortably expand. However, I would like to offer a proposition to MLW Nation. Whenever MLW hits 1 million subscribers, we will expand to at least two more teams. That is official. You can write that down, you can quote me. Um, whenever that mark happens, it could be as early as 2025 that we expand or in the future, 1 million subs, once we hit that point, we feel we can, as a company, have enough infrastructure and resources in place to where we can perform this move and expansion uh, at a high level and to our standard. So if you're a big MLW fan out there, go tell a friend or two to go sub to MLW. I want this as much as you guys for us to keep growing uh, as a league and as a company. And I think it could be awesome uh, bringing in at least two more teams to the league. But that will do it for today's draft video. The 2024 season is practically here. I'm sure you saw it already on social media, but the opening day matchup is the Magic vs. Eagles, a rematch of last year's Atlanta World Series. So that's going to drop on the channel on Friday, May 3rd. Make sure you don't miss it by subscribing in that corner and also see the last video from us in that corner. 
We'll see you next time, MLW Nation. Let's drive that sub count up. With the fourth pick in the 2024 MLW Draft, the downtown Dimebacks select Michael Shima, Legend University?